check out this fermented veg after two weeks with me. people thank you for tuning in my name is Lucy and today I'm gonna show you what my fermented veg looks like after two weeks so what have we got we've got something wonderful and uh, I was inspired by this book and uh, I am doing some recipes so it's a river cottage handbook number 18 and uh, what caught my uh, attention is this uh, curried uh, parsnip kraut. This uh, curried parsnip kraut is a wonderful combination of parsnip which is quite dense and dry and uh, pear which is nice and juicy combined with uh, lots of spices to make it really nice and spicy. So check this out. It's uh, amazing the color Oh my gosh and uh, I also put some juniper berries so I amended the recipe in the book I leave it in the description below and uh, you can play with the spices so uh, you don't have to uh, you know follow the recipe it's up to you how much spices you would like to put and uh, this is after two weeks so uh, you can eat it after one week time I prefer to have it like uh, slightly softer so and uh, also I've got a couple of narrow leaves on the top so it help uh, everything to be nicely submerged uh, in the liquid and uh, another one this is a combination of uh, random veg uh, you can see uh, in the picture and uh, what is really amazing how it changed color so it's nicely sort of pinkish, I will show you. So I've got, uh, this is a uh, Chinese uh, leaf cabbage and as you can see, it's really pinkish. I put there purple carrot and also purple uh, radish. And you know, it completely changed your color. So the color was uh, transformed into this nicely pinkish stuff so i am really amazed it, it looks really nice and pleasing for the eye and uh, i've got a couple of um, small jars so uh, i have it in my fermentation crock and uh, these ones i was just doing uh, in the jar so uh, on the side so this will keep me going for uh, some time and uh, you can check my other uh, fermentation uh, adventure in the link uh, above uh, if you look for further inspiration so this was just a quick one what you can do uh, what you can combine and what is going to look like and uh, here it is this is what i've got uh, from uh, my lovely fermentation crock and uh, also from the two glasses on the side and as you can see the colors are just amazing this will keep me going uh, for some time and this is what i had on the top to keep it nicely submerged i just discarded some of the juniper berries so i don't need them there anymore and the secret is really eat it uh, little and often and uh, in fresh version if possible so I love it uh, putting uh, on the top of my main meal uh, with some bread and uh, on the side just on its own. So whatever you fancy you can put it on the top of your soup as well and uh, enjoy it. Your gut will be thankful to you. And uh, this is really a combination of random stuff uh, which I had home. So I've got here a uh, Chinese leaf, uh, purple carrot, uh, purple radish, uh, fresh fennel. I also put some dried fennel, nettle seeds. You can see the bits uh, on the top. 
and uh, some ginger, turmeric, uh, really spicy uh, paprika, juniper berries and uh, just play with the spices and uh, this is the final combination and uh, lovely pinkish color. So let me know what is uh, bubbling uh, in your kitchen at the moment or what are you going to try? Are you going to have a go to this uh, lovely spicy version? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Share with your friends and family. Spread some love. Leave me some comments and uh, I can't wait to speak to you next time. Stay amazing from my heart to your heart. Bye until next time.